Hey guys, welcome to that new video game smell. And, uh, no? No. No? Okay. What do you think on this one? We'll go, we'll go old school. Old school? The BG Losers crew. We're just... <laughs> All right, we're the we are the video game losers. We're here bringing you this is this is actually for for vglosers.com. This is like actually VG Losers 5.0. We've the, the site has gone through so many changes over the last 10 years. Yes, 10 years that VG Losers has been going. That uh, this is actually 5.0 of the show, and uh, well, 5.0 of the site, which today brings you the show. Is this originally what the show should have been? Originally, the show was uh, the show. Originally, the site was all game reviews. It was uh, it was an excuse to get a GameFly account and uh, to to explain it to our wives. We had a site that we did reviews on, and that's how it all started. And today, it's exploded into the pop culture network, and we're breaking VG losers back off and going straight back to video games. So, no more wrestling podcasts on VGLosers.com. No more toy reviews on VGLosers.com. Video games, video games, video games. Can you dig it? Sucker! Five time. All right. So, welcome to the show. We hope you enjoy it. This is our, our first take at this, our first shot. So, this is probably going to be pretty horrible. Enhancing. And we're just going to warn you now that uh, this, this is going to be the worst show you've ever seen. I can tell you right now because we're off to a great start, aren't we? Yeah. We're, well, you know, we're our professionals. <laughs> <laughs> this is what we do for a living, kids. Mm -hmm. So, stay in school, stay off drugs. All right. Well,. I think the first thing we need to do is talk about one of the hottest games that came out last year. Last and, uh, year, what, couple, you know, <laughs> which was like two weeks, weeks ago, ago. Yeah. <laughs> and that, of course, is Call of Duty: Modern Warfare 2. Now we realize that everybody has covered this game to death by now. You've probably played it three times yourself. But we want to start this uh, show off with a good review on a game that's awesome, and honestly, this game is awesome. <laughs> Now, I have to admit, even though I liked the game, I did feel disappointed by it. I think I liked Modern Warfare Call of Duty 4 better. What? Why? Yeah. Well, okay, there's a couple things. First of all, I, I felt that the story in this one was too disjointed. Whereas in the first one, you really got a good flow of from character to character, going from location to location. This felt a lot more like you were doing different missions that all eventually kind of played into each other, but it didn't feel as much of an unfolding story as you're rolling along. See, I didn't care. Uh, the missions on this one were a lot more fun. Uh, well, there was great level design. I mean, I'm not, I'm not arguing that. I, honestly, the story didn't matter to me. Mm -hmm. uh, go around to shooting people in a new stage, on a new environment, and using new weapons. That's all I cared about. Mm -hmm. I really did not care. I, I love Call of Duty games, and they honestly could just release an expansion pack or just made up a level where you're, uh, I don't know, climbing some ladders trying to get Donkey Kong. Sure. <laughs> I don't care. I like it. Call of Duty is awesome. Uh, the cutscenes are always awesome. It's an intense game. Level design is great. Uh, shooting people is fun. I don't care do about you, Do you do any of the online multiplayer? Uh, no. Or just I, the local story? I, you know what? The only type of online playing that I can do is I can do the MMORPG stuff. That's fine. Uh, shooting games is the only thing you can just jump right into, shoot somebody and jump out of. Any other type of game you play online is just too... It's not fun. So I didn't actually play in the online uh, yet because I want to get really good because people Well, you've played through this game twice now? Uh... At least, yes. Okay. Probably more like three or four times. Uh, and you played it on the PC. Yes. Whereas I played it on the PS3. I like to feel... Uh, to me, it's easier to shoot and mm -hmm. get accurate with a mouse and keyboard. So I, I really... I'm not very good on the console. I can't, I can't do the joystick. Well, and for me, it's just simply a matter of... My computer is usually doing 20 different things anyway. It's rendering video or downloading files or, you know, whatever. So the, the computer does work. And while it's working, I go to the PS3 and I play. So that's generally why why I play more on a console than on a PC. Well, I got the dual screen thing going, so I got... Well, you're sitting at the same table. Yeah. Anyway, so... Whereas I actually get up, go to the other room, sit on the comfy couch, do that whole thing. So... Yeah. All right, but, but for me, really, um, the online, I played it a little bit, but it didn't really feel like it was anything different from what you can already play on other games. You know? Did you? Uh, well, no. But I don't generally do good. I've been in the mag beta for, like, what, three months now, whatever, and, and it's, I'm alive for two and a half minutes, I think, is my longest run uh, before I get killed. So I don't think it really matters. You just 
Run around, shoot. But but I mean, the games like Mag, um, Battlefield Two, uh, you know, anything, any any really online shooter, a lot of them have the exact same feel to them. Um, I, I'm going to say SOCOM feels a little different because it's much more about squads, but there are other games, Rainbow Six, that deal with a lot of squads. America's Army deals with squads, things like that. But, you know, as far as these games go, most of them do feel the same, and I didn't really feel like the online was really offering me anything different. And, and so going into it thinking I'm not really going to spend a lot of time in the online, for me the story was what was important because I like the single-player storyline moving through. And, and they did have the interesting stuff, like the controversial levels everybody talks about, doing the, the terrorist Which uh, I didn't shooting. find controversial. Well, I can, I can understand why. Because, let's face it, 90% of the people who are going out there and buying this game are kids who are 12, and their mom's buying it, and they're not paying attention to what they're getting their kids. And so a lot of them are, are playing this, and it's, oh, hey, you're just randomly shooting people in you know, but the it, station. But it wasn't, like, horribly gory. And now, had well, it been, no. like, horribly gory, I could see why they'd been like, oh, no. But right. really, you were just shooting... Well, it was but, like Postal. It was yeah. like, a, like a, a, a level out of Postal, except with no peeing on anybody. And actually, that mission was kind of a disappointment. Now, once, you, once you're inside the terminal, and you're, and you're shooting all the people, uh, it felt really... Boring and the, and the models well, of the the people were kind of like janky and, and it seemed looking. it seemed like there was a lot of it looked like the same guy over and over. Well, yeah, and you and you're pushing the crowd through was the idea. Like you're on one side and you're flushing everybody out and just shooting everybody in your way. But it seemed like the place would empty, mm -hmm. and then you would start to move in, and suddenly just lines of people, almost like Galaga ships, were you know coming in from two sides. It's like where have these people been? All these people were hiding in a closet until we walked up, and then twenty in a row decided to make a run for the door. And you're you know. doing the walk, and it's slow. But and you just want to run, and then you got the guy. Oh, what's doing? But, yeah. And then you get, but then you get outside, and then it's awesome. And, well, and then there's like all the riot cops show up yeah. with the, with the riot shields and the hand grenades and everything like that. So and that, then, that was probably the best part of the game for me. Uh, once you get outside the terminal and get done with all the people that are just standing there dying. You get out and you find all the riot squad and the cops, and then he's like, they're pretty well, hardcore. And that's something about the game is that I found a lot of it was really difficult, but I felt. Difficult in a in a in kind of like a tricky way, like a cheat, mm -hmm. like especially when you're you're running around in uh, South America trying to find the arms dealer guy, whatever it was, and suddenly you're getting shot. And you're like, where am I getting shot? Oh, there's a guy hiding behind the potted plant on the balcony on the third story. Because the buildings have a thousand windows. Yeah, I know. And there's, and there's eighteen guys. And there's power lines hanging down, and air conditioner units, and you can't find. You don't know what the heck's going on half the time. There's no. You know, most shooters used to rely on like a radar system. So you had a pretty good idea of where it was coming from. Or, as you were getting shot, like a, a certain part of the screen would light up so you knew it was that direction. But it just felt like in this one, they were going for more realistic, sure. Mm -hmm. But more realistic just means kind of frustrating when you're playing a game. Like, I'm there to release, you know, I'm not, I'm not honing my skills. I'm just there to get some entertainment. You know, honestly, now I think about it. You know, in the beginning, like all the Call of Duty games, you do that little training mission, a little boot camp, whatever. Right. I don't, now that I think about it, I really don't understand why they put the target practice with the civilians in there. Yet, when you're playing the entire through the game, you don't really see any <laughs> civilians. You know, there's no Once. hostages. I mean, there, there's the, the mission on the pier where you go and you, you know, you're freeing the hostage or whatever. But really, there's no, like... It's just constant when, fodder. When you're in actual in the towns, right. and you're doing the Russians and stuff like that. There's no people. Where's all the people? Like, yeah, you're kicking down somebody's door and you're throwing hand grenades in and not paying attention... To anything having to do with it, because you know, if you kill anybody there, it's a bad guy. Yeah, so that's so, the only thing I, I felt kind of disappointed. So on. it's like they haven't figured out that balance of what's what's the realism and what's keeping it just a game in that kind of fantasy game realm. But I, but I, but still, I you know, I, I thought it was a great game, great level design, but I felt the story in Call of Duty Four was better, and it and that pulled me in a little bit more. Whereas this just felt like a bunch of missions, well done missions. But just a bunch of missions. That storyline element that I play for wasn't really there. Yeah. I guess, well, <laughs> well, how do you feel about the missions where you're in the vehicle, like the snow? Sphere? I generally don't like those for the most part. The like the rail shooter uh -huh. type things. I don't really care for those a whole lot. I like escort missions and those on rail uh, shooting vehicle missions. I don't really get into those a whole lot. Well, did you? How far did you get? Did you beat the game? I got all the way to uh, just about the last level. And then it was too hard, and I was just like, I don't know. like I, I looked up online. I'm like, I, I've got like one level left. I'm okay, not gonna. So did it. you? You did the mission with the pier, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. And, and actually, the one part I liked about that mission was the slow motion uh, when you breached the door. 
and it goes into slow motion, like Matrix style shooting. Well, and, and that was kind of like at the uh, the end of four, when you're when you're on the bridge. And well, anyway, anyway, uh, let's not get too far into all that. But still, uh, I thought it was a good game. Definitely worth checking out. Definitely worth. You're probably going to buy it. You probably bought it anyway, or you got it from uh, uh, GameFly, and you're not going to return it for two months. More, yeah, more realistically, you bought it because it is the number one <laughs> most selling game of all times, outbeating all media formats of any type. Of well, game. it came with night vision goggles. I mean, come on. Now, I haven't seen that yet, but I'm waiting for somebody Someone's to Someone's going to trade them in. Yeah. I'm just totally taking it. Well, I can, I, can I have the second pair that comes in then? We'll see. I'm Cause, cause I got some hot neighbors. And, never mind.